All right. If you can, if you could eat food, one food the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh my gosh, easy, hands down. French fries. Good for you. I gave it up for 2018. I gave up all French fries for one year. Practice of discipline. No French fries. I could have tater tots, but think about it. If you <laughs> give up some, I know it was tough. It was like I'm talking about I could from never. New Year's to New Year's. I could never. No, it was the worst. It was, it was. You know. It, it was. It was, it was trying. All right. It brings me favorite. so much joy. I just, like, I could never. And oh. it's just, like, even when you're not hungry, you can eat French fries. Any fry. Like, any fry. fry. I'm like, this fry sucks. And I'm yes, but, but, but enough ketchup. Like, bad. okay, it's cool. Whatever. All right. Uh, one artist that you want to work with that you haven't yet. And I know you've worked with everybody. I get artists. Every time I ask this question to artists, they're like, well, you know, look, even Dame said he needs a feature. We got Dame Lillard on here talking about he needs a feature. Hey. Dame, I, Dame I'm going to work it. I'm going to, you know, you get on here. I love the collaborative want, process. That's Dame, always fun. Dame, see, I got you. Don't ever say <laughs> I ain't got your best interest, Dame. Shout, um, out, shout out the Blazers. I would say uh, Andre 3000 is the top of my list of people that I need to get on a show. Yeah. That Good. would just Great. be legendary yeah. status right there. Yeah, and Dame, you're next. Dame, we're next. <laughs> we're going to talk about it. She's free. Like, we, we, you know, we're, we're going to get, once you out the bubble, Dame, once you out the bubble. I'll send you, right? some, send you some jams. There we go. Okay. <laughs> All right. We got it, Dame. Uh, okay. If you could be a member of one TV sitcom family, which one would it be? Oh, yeah. I'm a big sitcom girl, but yeah. like, obviously Fresh Prince. Uh, go girl. Okay, you know. All right. <laughs> best and worst purchase you've ever made. Best purchase. Um, Big, small, it don't matter. You were just like, yo, what? What was I thinking? Or like, this is awesome. Um, best purchase: my car, my Ferrari. Vroom vroom. Because uh, we love that. We just love it. Yes, we do. Yes, and, we do. Um, worst purchase I've ever made. Um, it's really hard to say because you've made a lot of bad purchases. I made a lot of bad I purchases. Because I don't make a lot of bad purchases. Like I don't be buying that much stuff. Like I'm not like okay. a, I'm not like a buyer. I'm not like a buyer. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm not an impulse buyer. I should say I'm not. An okay. Buyer. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Give me. I don't. I like give just. Like something. Uh, okay. Just you um, got to give me some. Give me a shoe that you bought and it broke the next day. Like. Just, uh, yeah. Damn, like I can't think of any issue that broke. Okay, How everybody, she's, she's, never made, she, she's never made a bad purchase in her life. That That is that is fiscal Law responsibility. Free. I respect that. <laughs> you know what's so funny? If you, uh, who would you want to play you in the movie of your life? Can I play myself? Yes, you can. I'll play myself. There we go. There yeah. we go. That's a biopic. <laughs> featuring you. I, yeah. My last question, my last question was Martin or Fresh Prince, but I think you might have already answered that. You, Fresh you, Prince. Fresh Prince, you, you already answered. That's why I was like, ooh, hey. Okay. <laughs> well, Martin, is, Martin is, is funnier, to be fair. You asked which family I'd want to be a part of, so Fresh Prince, but like Martin might be, might be funnier. Yeah, yeah, that, that's right. Martin, Martin's just so. Martin's, Martin's classic. Yeah. So I'm going to say and, and, my answer. I'm going to say Martin's. Okay, okay, I, I, I respect that. Let me just talk about this. You just released a new album, a new uh, a new song, and a new video, correct? Yes, yes. Oh, so okay. my song Rascal. Yep. Uh, Superstar just dropped, so make sure that you guys check that out. And mm -hmm. there's a video for that too, which is kind of about like being stuck in quarantine and the madness that ensues. Um, and yeah, just kind of like the surveillance state, like this weird, all this live stuff that we've been doing. Mm -hmm. Funny. It's so well, bizarre. yeah, it's so bizarre. So now, was this song? Was this song? Did, were you working on this? Was did you already have the song, and did you make the song like the video more about quarantine and just kind of, yeah. you know, yeah, <laughs> it's like that's where the inspiration came from. Okay, yeah. yeah, I mean, the song was already the song, and it's not really about being in quarantine at all. I just yeah, wanted, I just wanted the video to kind of reflect the times and everything. Mm -hmm. else. Yeah, and you've been and you've been very very active. You have been at tons of protests. You yeah. have been at the forefront. You've been using your voice and your platform. You know, like what is it meant for you? Because like some people see you th these this moment in time and they like kind of take a step back and just be like, yeah. yo, this is a lot and understandable because it's not for everybody. And then some people see this and it was like, girl, grab your shit, we going. Like like 
Like, who, we going. And if you're not with me, like, no, grab yourself, we going. So, like, what was it about it that was just like, yo, anytime I can go, anytime I can show up, I can support. Because everyone does it in different ways. People do it in donation. People use their social platform. Some people show up at the protest. What was it about it that Jets made it so passionate for you or made you so passionate about it? Well, I think the one thing that was really special about the Black Lives Matter movement right, happening right now um is that we all have like a little bit more time like mm -hmm. time to be able to focus all of my energy on um trying to make a change and and focusing on these really really important issues that maybe we've been i wouldn't say fully like neglecting but kind of just pushing to the side because we all have our day day-to-day -day lives we have our mm -hmm. responsibilities we'd be going through the motions you know we're caught up in this and that we're caught up in sports we're caught up in music yeah. um and it's really it's amazing that we were all kind of sitting focused on online on phone scrolling all day because we're able to share these messages so like you said where people are signing petitions where people are yeah. spread awareness all that's so important for me it was all of the above it was it was sharing messages on social media it was getting out there in the streets and protesting there's still protests happening all the time which is mm -hmm. really yeah because they don't get any kind of coverage anymore so it's still a thing. It, it, yeah, I'm yeah, like, and and that's why so many NBA players were kind of hesitant. They're like, we have everyone's attention right now. We have their focus, and it's like I hear from so many friends that just about you know things that they learned that they didn't learn before. So many things about whether it's tragedies or information or how you know there's legislation that has been put in place that can that can affect people for generations. Uh, you know, and so it's like right now when you felt like so many people are being informed, like. You know, give me something that you learned that you were like, yo, like I didn't know or something that you are or, or even an experience that a friend that, you know, it could be, you know, of any race that was like, I had no idea about this story and like stories impact people in different ways. What was a give me a moment here that kind of like, you know, struck you in a way that's like, wait, y'all didn't notice. Yeah. Um, well, for me, it's it's been just kind of sharing information in general, because I think when it when the statistics when we see the graphs when we see um it's it's one thing to hear numbers it's another thing to kind of see it in like a graphic format so on on instagram i think yeah. was a way that a lot of people shared information like sharing stories and yeah. posting things that would like literally show you the type of that we're giving to the police forces and yeah that. so that's why even um all of these kind of like defund police these and kind of gained popularity that it's it's evident how yeah. it is to show people in their faces things that we have known for a long time and yeah to have these discussions but yeah. um, i've been really happy like i feel like sports being back has continued the discussion and i think mm -hmm. Um, they've done a really good job of, of continuing to have um, yeah. and 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 you know a lot of people have been really talking about Breonna Taylor's case specifically yeah, yeah. Um, that no, I... so overlooked and it's still still so crazy yeah 